Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and in today's video I'm going to be discussing the PlayStation 5 pre-order disaster. Now, as you know, if you've been paying any attention to gaming news, PlayStation 5 pre-orders started just the other day, and it was a complete mess. I mean, no one could get their pre-orders in, no one knew when to actually start pre-ordering the console, it was just a mess. Now, if we look back a few months ago, Eric Lampel, who works for Sony and PlayStation, said that Sony would give everyone plenty of notice before the pre-orders would go live, so everyone would have time to get ready, know exactly when pre-orders would start, and it would be super simple. Going along with that, Sony had a pre-registration to pre-order the PlayStation 5, which I personally signed up for, and that seems to have never worked. I know I never got an email about that, and I don't, I haven't seen very many people who have, so that seemed to not end well. Now, PlayStation had a showcase on September 16th, and they had stated the price of the console and the release date of the console, but they never said anything about when pre-orders would actually start. This actually happened after the event, PlayStation posted on Twitter, that PlayStation 5 pre-orders would be available the next day. Um, and everyone got super excited, you know, PlayStation 5 pre-orders, let's go. You know, I can pre-order my PlayStation 5 tomorrow, awesome. So everyone had that in their heads and that was, everyone was ready for that. Then, Jeff Keighley, the host of the Game Awards, had said something about PlayStation 5 pre-orders coming on tomorrow, which was the 17th at the time. And then after that, he had posted a tweet saying that he was heard hearing some rumors that some retailers would have stock coming in earlier that same day on the 16th, and that you would be able to pre-order on the 16th. He then made a later tweet stating that, reconfirming that PlayStation had said that September 17th was the true pre-order date, and that that was when you would expect to pre-order your PS5s. After this, Walmart was the first company to make a tweet stating that you could pre-order the PlayStation 5 today on the 16th, which was very unusual because as Sony promised that you would be able to pre-order on the 17th. Shortly after this, other retailers followed, Best Buy, Target, EB Games, uh, GameStop, they all followed shortly after this and the chaos ensued. And it just kept getting crazier and crazier and no one was able to actually purchase the console because they were all getting sold out in seconds and minutes and it was crazy. GameStop even had some people who would try to log into the site and try and pre-order PlayStation 5, they kept getting blocked. I mean, it was a mess. A few people would even be lucky enough to get one in their carts and then right as they click check out, you get an error message saying that the PlayStation 5 is out of stock no matter which edition you went with. I mean, it was totally crazy. Now, a few hours after that, Amazon was opening their pre-orders for the PlayStation 5. And this is when I was lucky enough, I was constantly refreshing Twitter. I saw that Amazon had went live on their pre-orders. So I pre-ordered mine instantly as soon as I saw Amazon was available. Got super lucky with that. And you know, they those didn't last long either. Same with everywhere else that the PlayStation 5 was available. They did not last. They were just getting sold out in seconds. It was crazy. Now, again, after that, uh, the next day, everyone else opened up when PlayStation 5 pre-orders were supposed to, and it kind of, you know, eased out a little bit, but again, you people still had a hard time getting the consoles because there was such limited availability at first. Now, looking back towards this, Sony had put out a tweet recently that said they were kind of apologizing for the whole, the whole mess, and they stated that... Uh, Retailers will be getting more stock soon, and they will have more consoles to pre-order soon, and again later this year. Uh, so this is good news for everyone who happened to miss out on the chaos and wasn't lucky or wasn't lucky enough to be able to get one earlier. So that's great news for them. I also have a few tips for I, if you re have not been lucky enough to get a PS5 yet, pre-order yours. I have a few tips to kind of secure, help you secure your PS5. Um, so number one, I would pay attention to Twitter. That's, you're really gonna have, if you have notifications on for certain people, certain gaming, uh, gaming publications, 
they'll kind of let you know about what the latest news is in regards to that. Uh, as well as another tip of mine is to, if you can, as soon as pre-orders go live, if you can find a bundle, I know EB Games was offering you could buy a PlayStation 5 with along with an extra controller. If you can find that, go for that before getting just the normal console because you have a much higher chance of getting the bundle as they most people just go straight for the actual console. They don't go for the bundle. If you do see a bundle, however, I would highly advise going for that instead of the standard PlayStation 5. You'll get a much higher chance of actually being able to find one. Alright guys, so that's the end of this video on the PlayStation 5 Chaos. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like on the video if you can. Uh, if you leave a dislike, if you didn't like the video, that's cool with me. Uh, leave a comment, anything you'd like me to improve, or any comments about Sony, the PlayStation 5, anything like that. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. It'd mean the world to me if you guys could subscribe. Alright guys, thank you so much. Bye-bye.